Yes, Earthlings, the time has come for me to reveal my true identity. Many of you who are regular watchers of interference will know me as Jim Barclay, the wacky and zany comedian. <laughs> However, my name is Wonder Wally. <laughs> my masters on Zanussi have <laughs> sent me forth tonight to speak to you Earthlings in the highest citadels of power. And Earthlings, what higher citadel of power can there be than here in the sports and social club <laughs> of the Watney's Brewery, <laughs> South London? Southwest London. Southwest London. Well, I don't know, do I? I don't think I walk around with an A to Z all the way from Zanussi. <laughs> Southwest London. In order to speak to you all on a matter of great urgency. Well, no doubt, Earthlings. We on Zanussi are even further up shit creek than you are. <laughs> Our future, Ponza Lucy, is as bright as a quadruped's in an abattoir. <laughs> we too, Earthlings, are faced with nuclear annihilation. The funny thing is, though, Earthlings, whereas everybody on Zanussi is running around in a panic, selling their gerbils, taking their library books back and sticking their heads in brown paper bags, <laughs> you lot are remarkably calm, almost blasé under the circumstances. What I don't understand, Earthlings, if that's how it's all going to be, how come your government has brought out a book telling you what to do <laughs> when they come along and drop a bomb on you. I don't understand that. Actually, I must say, though, Earthlings, there's some great stuff in this book. I'm taking a copy of this back to Zanussi. Look at this, look. Great in here, look, look. What to do after the attack? Number one, do not smoke. <laughs> <laughs> now, Zanussi, we don't smoke anyway. But I would have thought the average 40 a day earthling after a nuclear explosion might fancy a quick drag. <laughs> no, no, hog him up now, good a time as any, really, no. <laughs> what to do after the attack? Number two, tie your toilet up. <laughs> See, the reason they ask you to tie your toilet up, I suppose, Earthlings, is that when the bomb drops and the marauding forces come to rape and pillage or whatever they're going to do, you've got your toilet there as a hostage. <laughs> <laughs> One more step, and that toilet's a pile of broken rubble. <laughs> and then where are going to shit, eh? <laughs> <laughs> look at this, look. Action checklist. Have you taken down your neck curtains? Why do they ask you to do that? <laughs> I suppose, Earthlings, you, you, you take down your neck curtains. The person next door takes down his neck curtains. The whole of Mortlake takes down their neck curtains. You sew them together. You wash them first if you like. <laughs> If you've got time in the four minutes. Anyway, <laughs> you sew them together, all these neck curtains, and you catch the bomb in the neck curtains. <laughs> Could well be, I don't know. Look at this. Ah, this is the bit. You'll be interested in this. Accommodation. If you live in a flat, consult your landlord about alternative accommodation. <laughs> Obviously, the people who wrote this book have not met my landlord. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. Wonder Wally here again. I spoke with my uh, landlord on the planet Zanussi about the alternative accommodation. His reply was brusque and to the point. 
He told me to sod off. <laughs> Never mind. It's one of the great things about being an alien from outer space. You get to do all sorts of wacky things. <laughs> like that. See, the other thing is, with my X-ray vision, I actually get to see a lot of things that you Earthlings know nothing about. Because <laughs> you all think that those cruise missiles that landed at Greenham Common were the real thing. That's not so. The real cruise missiles are here disguised as Rockland's <laughs> beer tankers. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, the last thing the Russians want to do to blow up would be a brewery. Well, they like a drink, same as everyone else. I mean, what's the point of vaporising a brewery? Mind you, you might get a better class of radioactive dust to breathe in. Because <laughs> you all think that those cruise missiles are piloted by a computer. Not true, you see. Thanks to my X-ray vision, I'm able to tell you that inside each one of those cruise missiles driving them is a member of the under-21 section of the Millwall FC Supporters Club <laughs> <laughs> on a youth training scheme. <laughs> it makes sense, doesn't it? Mind you, I have to admit that for some of it may be a bit of a dead-end job. <laughs> I've been talking to a very eminent stand-up comedian in America, Mr. Casper Weinberger. <laughs> I'd like to do one of his jokes now. It's a cracker. I'm sure you'll love it. Here we go. <laughs> I say, I say, I say, even an inaccurate cruise missile is an effective deterrent. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cracker, isn't it, eh? But at which side? That's what I'd like to know, eh? Because these cruise missiles go up a hundred metres above the ground, and then for thousands of miles they go along reading the terrain. You know that? <laughs> but what they don't tell you is, these cruise missiles that go along reading the terrain <laughs> are dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going along looking for Leningrad. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that Leningrad? Go <laughs> on, where's that Leningrad? I'll give it some stick when I see it. Where <laughs> is it? Because it's dyslexic, it lands up in Ladbrook Grove. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings once again, Earthlings. Well there, well pleased with me up on Zanussi. The oldest say it under me. Wonder what he now has done well. <laughs> We shall bestow upon thee our highest accolade, the Order of the Bollock. <laughs> <laughs> I am now Brigadier Wonder Wally. <laughs> Actually, one of the great things about being a Brigadier is down here on Earth, you get a whole lot more credibility as well. I mean, look at this Ministry of Defence circular only to be read by high-ranking military personnel. Well, I think I qualify under the circumstances. <laughs> Government fallout shelter, SB73240. Location. SB73240 is located in the front garden of Mr. R.C. Spreadbury, 143B Thistleworth Close, Palmer's Green, London, N223 ET. Personnel. The following personnel will be admitted to SB73240. Where you going, you might be on the list. <laughs> Number one, the Prime Minister. Number two, Dennis. Number three, Mr. R.C. Spreadbury. <laughs> well, he knew the difference between stalk and butter, didn't he? Hey. <laughs> Number four, 12 women police constables of childbearing age and ability. <laughs> Number five, Cecil Parkinson. <laughs> what you all want to know, Earthlings, is am I on the list of species likely to survive? The most successful species will be a common mole. Because what will happen is the bomb will drop, the sun 
will go through the eroded ozone layer, refract off the surface of the Earth. The ultraviolet rays will make everybody blind. Now, of course, it may not have occurred to you yet, but the mole is blind already. <laughs> what that means is that after the Holocaust, Earthlings, you will be led by myopic, xenophobic, miserable little creatures interested only in their own survival. In stark contrast to your leaders of today. <laughs>